Good morning, boys and girls. This is Mr. Doug's story time. Yay! And today we're going to read the story of Fish and Snail by Deborah Friedman. Deborah Friedman is the author and the illustrator. She's very talented. It's a great story, and the art and the pictures are beautiful. It's a story about two friends who have different ideas of how to play, and they have to figure out how to make both ideas work. It's not easy, and they get upset with each other at first. Let's read about the story of Fish and Snail. And you can see that this is a book that it looks like that's a tail of fish, and it's a splash. So I guess fish just jumped into that book, into the book, into the story of Fish and Snail. Every day, Snail sits in one special spot, waiting for Fish to come home with a story. This looks like the bottom of an aquarium with the gravel for fish, right? And the gravel, and there's a castle. It looks like a great spot for Snail to sit. He just sits in one spot waiting for fish to come home with a story. Ahoy, snail! Guess what? I found a new book! A new book? Does it have princesses or kittens? Will you tell me the story, fish? Oh, they're both excited. But Snail, I want to show you the story this time. Fish, you know I don't want to go into other books. I like this book. Arg, Snail, I promise we can come back here later. The new book has a whole ocean and a secret treasure and a pirate ship. Wow. Well, Snail wants to uh, play princesses or kittens and it looks like and sounds like fish wants to play pirate ships and secret treasure a, a pirate ship fish i do not like to play big dogs or monsters or pirates i want to play kittens and i want to sleep right here but snail Sleeping cats are boring. Uh oh, their faces don't look like they're happy. Boring? Well, Fish, if you think I'm so blah and your new book is so wow, then maybe you would rather live there with no snail. Snail's feelings are hurt. Well, well, maybe I would. And maybe I'll go to be a pirate all by myself and I'll never come back. Uh-oh. Now both of them have hurt feelings. Yep, they are not happy with each other. Snail says, well, fine. And Fish says, fine, Snail, goodbye, the end. That's the end of the story? But, Snail says, but, I have this fish But that's not how this book is supposed to end. How can this be the story of Fish and Snail with no, with no fish? And if you look really closely, you can see down here, it looks like Fish jumped into this book with a little bit of a blimp, a little splash. And Snail is looking at that book now. He's looking at that book and he says, Fish, can you?
you see fish? Fish! What does Snail do? He jumps out of his book where he wants to stay. He jumps out of his book and lands in the other book. Sploosh! Look at that big splash. Fish did say it was an ocean. So Snail did go into the other book. Fish, where are you? He's looking around now in the book. And Fish must hear him and says, Snail? He's on another page. Snail, you came. You are very brave. Brave enough to be a pirate? Of course. Or maybe. What, fish? Maybe a kitty pirate. Wow. Together again, the friends set sail. Jolly pirate fish and first cat mate snail. Look, they put whiskers on uh, on snail, so it looks like a cat. And he's got he looks like a pirate on a ship. They both are on that ship. Wow. That's a great story about two friends who had different ideas of how to play. And they ended up hurting each other's feelings. They ended up having a fight and an argument. But they fixed it. And they were, to, they were able to fix their ideas so that they could both play together with both ideas. That's a great story. And that's the story of Fish and Snail by Deborah Friedman. Have a good day, friends.